With so much content whizzing around out there, there's only one storytelling platform that helps you keep calm and stay informed and inspired. Flipboard. Flipboard curates the world's stories so you can be smarter in your work, life, and play. Choose from thousands of topics to personalize Flipboard and get the latest stories from the best publishers and experts delivered to you 24-7. When you see stories you want to save or share, tap the plus button to add them to private or public collections. It's that simple. Used by millions of people every day, Flipboard is how people move themselves and the world forward. Get started now at Flipboard.com. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 274. In today's episode, Home Depot installs pickup lockers. Home Depot is installing pickup lockers within its stores as part of an $11 billion three-year investment into the future of the business, according to Retail Live. The locker program was part of a limited test in 2016, but was expanded late last year and will go national over the next few years, according to the company. The locker compartments come in three sizes and can hold about 60% of the items offered on their buy online, pick up in store program. Any items too large for the lockers can be picked up at the service desk. About 45% of Home Depot's online orders can be picked up in store. The lockers are a way to help streamline the process, allowing customers to pick up their prepaid orders, avoiding lines, or having to wait for assistance. The pickup locker trend is one that is gaining a more substantial adoption, especially in the bricks and clicks retail segment. Walmart, UPS, and of course Amazon have all expanded their versions of the concept, And more than half, 52% of specialty retailers offer in-store pickup options to meet customer demand for speed and convenience, according to research from Astound Commerce. The lockers also allow customers to avoid shipping charges. This is especially important for a chain like Home Depot, where the convenience of ordering a variety of small parts online are less likely when shipping charges are factored in. Now the customer can fill his card online, then pick up the completed order at his or her convenience. According to Retail Dive, Home Depot's first quarter e-commerce sales rose 20% this year, while Lowe's said it saw comp sales grow 20% online in its first quarter, or about 5% of sales. All right, I have one question. How do I fit a two-by-four in this locker? <laughs> well, they cut it up into little pieces, and then you put it back together when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're putting two-by-fours or piece of sheetrock in this thing. but that'd be No, they, they cut it up into little pieces, and then you reassemble it when you get home. It's like Ikea. Just fold it up and stick it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just fold it up. <laughs> I, was, I was actually in my Home Depot today. They do indeed have the lockers. They look just like the Amazon lockers, just a big orange locker, and it says pick up here. Um, I think this is a natural thing for stores now. I think people are getting used to the locker, the pickup locker concept. And as I said in the article, now let's just pretend I'm working on a home improvement project. I've gone in Home Depot and just walked in circles looking for that certain little part. If I can go yeah. online, find that part to to and you understand when you go into Home Depot, oh my I mean, God, just did that or a five eighths or a two ten, two twenty, whatever works. If you don't have the right one, and you get home and it's the wrong, here you can go online. You can get all your little parts. They throw it in a locker. You come in and pick it up. I think this is no, this is great. Like, I think so. The, to me, this is kind of like it, it's natural because I just did this, and then like I've walked the whole thing to find something what I thought supposed to be, and it's not where it was. It's supposed to be somewhere else. And finding a person to help you with what you want is sometimes a pain in the butt. So sometimes the person knows, and sometimes the person doesn't. Though I mean, I generally have good experiences in home improvement places. Um, they're pretty but- good. I mean, they hire good people. It's just sometimes there's like you're like I don't know what I want. I kind of look. I'm looking for something in particular. And then you're like, uh, yeah, if you can just order a line before you leave the house and then walk in and walk out, like that's it. Yeah. Time. Yeah. No shipping. I don't think they add any convenience charge or anything like that. If they did, that'd be pretty stupid. When you think of home, when you think of home improvement, you don't generally think about e-commerce, but uh, it's a growing niche. And I think it's one thing that Amazon still isn't able to do only because it's something a lot of thing about home improvement is you got to go look at it. You got to go look at it. You got to put your hands on it. You got to see it. Um, at least for now, right? <laughs> like if, if you're talking about screws and, and little tiny pieces, like I see Amazon killing on that because you can get it the next day or whatever, unless you really need it that day. And that's still like, that's still up and down, but um, you know, bigger pieces, obviously you're still going to be done by hand where. Yeah, no, you're right. You know, I think in, in generally though, 
because I'm in Home Depot a lot. And if you're in there and you're a contractor, you're not going to go, oh, you know what, Mrs. Johnson, we'll have your, we'll have, I'll have your flange in a couple of days. Let's go to wait for the Amazon order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so to be fair, we have a client that does um, all plumbing stuff, right? A small, tiny plumbing place, right? And what we're building is technically this, where you can order and then you can pick it up or get it delivered to you as a contractor. Right, right. I, I think just the, having the convenience, uh, and again, we're, we're talking about lockers here. We're not really talking about e-commerce in general, but just having the lock, the pickup lockers, mm -hmm. if space allows and budget allows, um, it's. I think it's a natural thing for people now. The technology is there. It's, I mean, it's not, I mean, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the Home Depot ones work. It's probably just a, a an app with the code. I think they're all like that now. Um, I think it's I kind like of it though. I, I really like we said. I, I like it for the fact that you can literally put it you know, like, "Hey, I need all this stuff. Let me just pick it up." Yeah, yeah. Or I order online, and I'm not going to get there till you know just before the store closes. I can run in, grab my stuff, and be on mm -hmm. my way. It's great. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Got anything else? No, that's it, my friend. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>